What's up y'all? Welcome back to another Crude Dude video. Today, we're gonna be fixing an electrical problem, or actually should I say an electrical gremlin that the Prelude developed over the past two months. Anyways, I'll see you at Redline. Give me a second y'all, let me, let me go uh, read the directions on how to do this. Guess we're here at Redline, guys. So today, oh shoot, we're not at Redline, we're at a church. What the hell? Let's try it again. Maybe it'll go through this time. Let me read the instructions one more time. I, I'm not understanding this YouTube thing. So now we're here at Redline, I think, I hope. Yeah, we are. Just to confirm, yeah, we are. Um, let me show you all the electrical problem with the Prelude real quick. Shoot. And I already locked the doors up, guys. Okay. Basically. If y'all can see right there, you see that little blue stuff growing on there? That's corrosion. That's basically been messing up my grounds. Um, I don't know how far it's gone back on the wire, but today we're gonna have to fix that. So, and I think it's starting to grow on this side too, which will mess up my positive as well. So today we're gonna fix both of those. We're gonna get rid of that electrical gremlin, and then we're gonna also check the ECU to see if there's any codes on there beforehand. Uh, the other day the check engine light came on, and then I erased it, and it hasn't come on since. So we're just gonna make sure. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good. Right now, I am shortening the wire, or I guess the cover on the wire. Because we're gonna cut this wire and get a, uh, I guess, get it fresh again, really. So there is nice, fresh wire right there. And nice and cleaned up. Nice and fresh. There's a difference. Fresh wire. A little dirty wire. You can tell it's old because it's very hard to like twist. It's already breaking apart as you can see. I got some fresh wire in this too. So there you go. Two fresh wires right there. Very soft. You can move it. Here's the new terminal. Old and new. So, you hold right there. Yeah, that's good. So, as you can see. Got it nice and tight right there. Not, not, not much wire poking out. Got most of it under the under the plate. None of it poking out from the sides. That's a good solid connection right there. Basically, what we're trying to do is reuse this uh, old ground that was here, and then we'll be adding this new ground right here from this chassis point to the battery. Should be enough slack for it. And then what we're going to do is we got this new wire right here basically the old wire goes all the way down to the transmission and just rounds out on the transmission and then that pretty much it gets carried to the engine and to the rest of the car to the bolts and everything um, so this new chassis these two chassis grounds as well as that transmission ground should be perfect um, and then we'll see if, if it'll make the car smoother or it'll affect it in any way and then it, it should definitely definitely uh, improve my uh, starting issue that I used to have um, well we'll find out so uh, we just finished putting everything back together these are the new terminals uh, we fixed the, the positive cable for the speaker system new wire strip you can even see that they're nice and orange like copper should be nice orangish brown um, grounds were added we reused one of the factory ground points which is here 
Um, everything's nice and tight, everything's in its spot. Then we added a new ground to the radiator support uh, that'll go back to the battery. And then this ground goes to the transmission. Um, now we're pretty much done besides just checking the fluids and then paying and being on our way. Okay guys, I'm back. Okay y'all, I'm back. I forgot to do the outro at Redline. So I guess we'll be doing the outro here. And which is a good thing because I've had, you know, the opportunity to drive the car after the work and let y'all know if it was worth it adding that extra ground in there or not. Um, the car runs much smoother. The, the sound system sounds a lot stronger, I'm assuming, because we did cut that uh, positive wire that went to it and cleaned it up because it was also corroded itself. Uh, car runs a lot better now. Would I recommend it? Definitely. If your terminals are corroded and you see that the wires in there are brittle like he said it was, um, like one of the mechanics there said it was, I definitely recommend chopping it, cutting it, uh, and uh, putting a new terminal on there. That definitely helped a lot. That being said, I do also want to let y'all uh, know some channel announcements. I've been meaning to tell y'all this for a while now. I'm going to be switching to a monthly upload basis now. Uh, the reason being is school is going to be hard and uh, when we switch to the monthly upload basis it'll allow me to save up a little more money especially with bills coming in and after bills coming out I only have so much money left over to modifying this car and you know suiting my needs as I need if I, if I needed something uh, extra that month so basically we're gonna switch to a monthly upload basis until the channel starts growing once the channel grows bigger um, event then we'll probably start switching back to a weekly upload basis like we did um, but yeah, uh, adding grounds to the car, fixing your terminals up. I think the terminal cleaning part and cutting the wires and stripping them back and replacing the damaged wire was the actually really important part. That's what I'm assuming made the big, really big difference. But yeah, um, it did a major difference. It's a lot of a cleaner battery area now. Uh, terminals don't look nasty as they did once. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend it. Take it to y'all's nearby mechanic if y'all notice that your terminals are nasty and green or rusting out like the ones I had on there. Um, and do definitely get them changed up. You'll see a bigger difference in how the car performs, acts, and drives. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope to see y'all next month.